In this video, let's learn how to apply middleware with Redux Toolkit. And the middleware we will apply is the same logger middleware we had used when working with plain Redux. And this is because it serves two purposes. One, we will learn how to extend Redux Toolkit functionality using middleware. And two, the logger middleware will give us insight into the actions dispatched, which I am keen for you to see and understand what Redux Toolkit does under the hood. First, let's install the logger package. Open the terminal and in the Redux Toolkit demo folder, run the command npm install redux logger. Next, we need to create a logger for our application. In store.js, const Redux logger is equal to require Redux logger and then const logger is equal to Redux logger dot create logger. To apply this logger middleware, we specify the middleware property after reducer in configure store. So middleware and to this property, we assign an arrow function. This function receives a function as its argument. It is called get default middleware. In the function body, we are going to implicitly return get default middleware and concatenate the list with our logger middleware. So dot concat pass in logger. We do this because by default, the configure store function add some middleware to the Redux store setup automatically. So to the list of default middleware, we append the logger middleware. And that is pretty much it. In index.js, let's remove the log statement in the store subscription as the logger middleware will take care of it for us. Now I want you to focus on the logs in the terminal when I run node index. Here, I want you to specifically focus on the green text string. It denotes the action type. We have cake slash ordered, cake slash restocked, ice cream slash ordered, and ice cream slash restocked. Now, where did this come from? With plain Redux, You can see we had to code the action type ourselves. But Redux Toolkit will take care of this for us. Under the hood, Redux Toolkit will take the string from the slice name as the first part and the key of each reducer function as the second part. They both are separated by a slash. So we have cake slash ordered and cake slash restocked. Cake is the name, ordered and restocked are the reducers. Similarly, ice cream slash ordered and ice cream slash restocked. We see the same actions logged in the terminal. The Redux principles are not forgotten. We still have an action with a property type that describes what happened, cake ordered or ice cream ordered. It is just that Redux Toolkit abstracts away all of that. Hopefully, you now feel better that I forced you to learn Redux before learning Redux Toolkit. If we had to dive straight into Redux Toolkit, we simply wouldn't have been able to understand what is happening under the hood, nor would we be able to appreciate how much Redux Toolkit helps us from a development point of view. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.